way we see, you know, African men. Mm. You know, like yeah. So you can't find this in Ghana? No. Even at the American groceries? No. no, not at all. This is so I have people come in, bring me some. So hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for clicking. So duty call again guys and your girl is excited to go bring you guys that content. And of course, before we do, I have to take you guys through my get ready with me moments, which is not going to waste your time at all, okay? Because I'm also in a hurry to get there because my appointment time is almost there and i have been waiting for a ride for the longest time so finally the ride is here and we are hitting the road without wasting time but then if you have not subscribed to the channel please kindly check and give the video um kindly hit the subscription button and of course do not forget to give this video a big like okay what's it looking like all right okay so because i got a dm on instagram somebody had um seen my interview that i did with mr carvin and the person put um sent me a dm like oh lily i enjoyed the interview but then lily i also know somebody who has been doing a lot in ghana she owns numerous businesses and guess what she is american she is african-american african-american who has you know closed the door over there sold everything that she owns and then decide to like say goodbye to the god bless america and then packed her bags and head straight to ghana and she is in ghana doing incredible things and she loved the idea of living in Ghana. So, Lily, it is only fair that you come and see, meet her yourself, let her tell you her story, why she decided to leave America to come to Ghana. I mean, and she is doing amazing things. So, the property you're looking at right now is one of our properties okay but then it is better for me to take you guys straight to where she is so that she can use her mouth to tell you guys her story okay so about how many minutes drive from my house about 30 minutes drive and we are heading straight to go meet Vaughn so Vaughn recently moved to Ghana but she has been contributing to the economy she's doing incredible things for herself and i cannot wait to hear her story and then bring you guys her story a lot of black americans are moving to ghana and that got me curious i want to know because we have other african countries what is it eh why ghana so guys you know when i say that it's not because i'm angry i'm happy for ghana because ghana deserves it like that is what happened when you maintain peace and order in your land as a matter of fact a lot of people don't care about the cost of living they just want to live in peace no matter how expensive that country that city that community that continent is they just want their peace of mind and everybody that i i have been able to like i have been privileged to interview has that one word to tell me peace 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 like i'm hearing a lot of that vaughn is not just into properties and stuff like airbnb no she's also into entertainment business where she rents equipment for parties you know which i'm going to demonstrate some of them here in this video for you guys to see she also rents like drones if you want to rent drones you want to shoot she got you covered okay so this is a pre-interview vlog which gives you like behind the scene of that interview because my stories are from real people with real stories so i like you guys to get to go behind the scenes of most of the interviews you see on my channel so it is my tradition here so this is a vlog of um some of the things behind the scenes i actually came here to interview fun ask her questions about the things that she's doing and why 
she left America, why she chose to come to Ghana and stuff and live here. So, but then something else, you know, draw my attention and I, I wouldn't be living here without that. So I'm glad she agreed to talk about that as well. So I'll be having like two videos coming from her, you know, interviewing her about the first one is about her business life. And the second one is about her personal life. I apologize in advance. Don't come for me. Okay. I told her, uh, I asked her if she was comfortable sharing this. So she did not do this under pressure. Okay. <laughs> and I don't need to tell you guys that I'm having fun. You can see that Vaughn is an angel. Okay. The only thing is she didn't come with her wings in this video, but she is an angel, beautiful and down to head. And okay, let me leave the rest. I'm giving out too much information. The fact that I, I kept on like trying to doubt her age was disrespectful. I was judging myself in my heart, like how dare you doubt somebody's age because she don't look it. So hold on as you say hello to my guest today. Like I said earlier, this is not the interview proper. Then again, trust me because everything is interview. I have to ask a few questions that I am, you know, curious to know. So, and um, of course, so you get to meet her at least. So I don't keep you in suspense. You'll be wondering who is, who are you talking about? Okay. So my guest today, uh, they held me back for dinner and I could not resist this yummy Ghana jellof and all that you can see right on this table so honestly i was really surprised but you know i was so shy so do you have any challenge getting groceries or anything yes i have some stuff shipped to me from oh. us oh okay and then uh they have some american stores mm. and it's like um so my i go once or twice a month and so when i'm going it's a, I leave early. Okay. Because I'll go to East Legon, I'll go to the two American stores, I'll go to Max Mart, then I'll go by the airport and I'll go to Marina Mall, mm. then I'll go to a Max Mart by there because Max Mart has some American stuff. And then I then I come back. So I try to go early and mm, get all the store and get over there and before return. the traffic is bad. Smart so evil woman. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. This is nice. Yeah, sweet tea. <laughs> okay. So, and I try to get some of the other ladies, uh, mm. you know, lady in Salt Pond. I told her when she's ready, she'll come here. Okay. And then we'll go together. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And then the stuff comes in. I have mm. all the stuff shipped from from US. Okay. Okay. Right. So you don't lack anything you need here. Not really. Unless there's favorite things I like, like one thing I did is so double mint chewing gum. They mm. don't have here. What was that? Chewing double gum. Double mint chewing gum. Ah, oh, I don't know that. Yeah, can you bring me a pack of gum? A pack of gum. Somebody gave me one the other day at that jack store. It was so nice. Uh -huh. I couldn't throw it away for a really long time. <laughs> the more you chew, the more sweet it gets. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But they don't have that gum here. Okay. So. so what I did is I asked people on Facebook if anybody was coming to Ghana and they could bring it. Oh, bring me some. And then some people so I have, have three people that brought me some. So I now I have this whole. I'll give you some some because I got this whole oh, thing really? of gum. Thank you. Right, <laughs> but they don't have it here. So oh. yes, you wanted extra spice. Okay, I, I wouldn't be trying that. <laughs> Jalapeno. I'm a village girl. I wouldn't. Yeah, this uh, yes, but that I don't know it. Yeah. Jalapenos are spicy. Oh really? Uh huh. They're like peppers. They're really good. Yeah, I'm even scared. They're not okay. here. Ooh, this is, it looks so beautiful. Yes. So you can't find this in Ghana? No. Even at the American groceries? No, no not at all. This is so I have people come in, bring me some. Right? Right. So I have a bunch of packs of gum now. Ah. I'm, I'm good for till the middle of next year, maybe, you know? Like, I have a lot of gum. And I forgot, even somebody told me they was bringing mm. me some, and then they brought it. I was like, oh, mm. I forgot. So yeah. Brought me a whole cases of gum. I trust you. This is gonna be one of the businesses so you, take you this make. Home. Oh really? I can take this. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Guys, I'm in America. You don't try. <laughs> I'm also in America right now. So if you have watched the video to this point, kindly give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, subscribe and hold on. Tomorrow, the video uh, interview, the full interview video will be up here on my channel. And then next tomorrow, her love story will be up here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this one. I will see you in my next one. Thank you.